yo what's going on you guys welcome back to another video on the channel today bringing you guys another high rated db video we have an absolutely banger of a video today we have actually bamal brooks with 1275 rating versus nesh with 1512 rating before we get any further if you guys could drop a like on this video greatly appreciate it greatly helps out the channel also it motivates me to keep making these videos for you guys so we're gonna see nesh win the rock paper scissors and he's gonna decide to go first of course and we see actually Bamal Brooks open up Safer, Branded Beast, Triple Tactics, Talons, Book of Eclipse, and Rocket Tracer. Opponent opens up Rikea, Aruha, Souls, playing the Soul thing. Uh, contract, then Duster, also meaning the Duster. He said, yo, ayo, who's there? And then he said, Chris says hi, so hearts in the chat. Then he's going to set the Wailing, activate the Aruha to destroy it and summon itself he has to keep going up so summon effect of this summon out sharvara link those two into yama and then effects chain link one chain link two set escape bring out yama i cannot do the next play because he has to keep going up db problems here so he's going to add sharvara um and then he's going to normal summon rakea use the effect destroy escape escape effect summon sarama and then sarama reset I need to slow down, bro. I just got, look, bro, your boy just got back from Olive Garden. I haven't worked yet today. I ate a lot. I ate a lot at Olive, bro. If you go to Olive Garden and eat, quick tangent, my fault. But when you go to Olive Garden, I ate for the whole day. So I'm like out of, I'm out of breath somehow, bro. I, I, I don't know how you get out of breath from eating food, but I, that's what I am right now. So he's going to summon Sarama, use the effect, set escape back from the graveyard, and then destroy Rikea, and then Rikea effect to summon the blue dog. Turn those two into Soul of Rage and then Blue Dog Effect Destroy Summon Effect to summon back the level six from deck and then make the DDD, of course. And then he's going to activate the Dark Contract with the Gate. And then that's going to grab Requiem there and then pass turn. He said DDD and level six in hand. Yes, and then one unknown. So pass turn. We can finally do the next play here. He draws Black Metal, which is a pretty good normal summon he's going to start with book of eclipse to go ahead and shut down the ddd caesar man so set that normal summon black metal um then he's going to link into striker use the effects black is going to be chain link two so white chain link one black chain link two um he's going to banish the striker dragon for red eyes and then that's just going to say that's good <clears throat> red eyes effect to summon back summon back black metal okay and then go for Dark Charmer. Nice, nice, nice. Dark Charmer is just is gonna force something here. So Dark Charmer take um, target. He's gonna use the effect chain to link off with the dark to go into Abomination. Now Dark always forces something. So Talons to draw two, draw Black Metal Abs. That's tough. That's tough. It's gonna activate the boot there. Boot effect. He said, think on activation. So okay, so he's thinking on activation. Um, he's gonna go Sharvara effect, destroy the DDD, and then summon the Sharvara. And then he said, thinking on chain link, he's gonna be one, a bomb, two, Sharvara, three, Caesar. He's gonna add contract. So he's gonna add contract. Sharvara is gonna set because it was under the DDD. So he's gonna set chamber and then abomination is gonna pop the boot sector and then Bamal Brooks. It just admits defeat there. No bis steals or anything to keep going. It's pretty tough, not gonna lie. But going on into the next game, we see actually Bamal Brooks open up Phantasme, Safer, Bistial Lubelion, Abs Router, and Anti Spell. So Seeing Phantasme get a lot more popular recently. Uh, this other effect, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a monster you control, quick effect, you can discard one card and negate the activation. And if you do, destroy it. Like, that comes up, bro. Like, that's not even really bad. Like, I always remembered this card for the first effect. But the second effect on field is actually pretty good. So I actually like the Phantasma. It's actually kind of cool. So, but oh yeah, Nesh opens up Thrust, Escape, Chamber, Rhino, and Nib. So does have the Nibiru here. He's going to go Lubelion, search for Magma, Normal Summon, Safer. Use the effect to go grab White Dragon, Magma Effect, Banish Safer to Summon, Magma Effect, search during end phase. 
Tribute off for Abyss Dulu Belion. Effect to place a continuous. Going to be regain special summon out white by banishing the magma. Link into striker. White is chain link too. So go grab black and boot. And then from here, he's going to link into Romulus. Romulus effect is going to grab ravine. Okay. So grab ravine. Then special summon out the special summon out black by banishing white and then regain put back white and draw one draw on a safe bird which you already used but he can use it as a discard but abs router's probably the better discard there he's gonna dump levy and then add tracer there and then activate boot effect to summon tracer from hand and then he's gonna make pisty and then black effect to search for white and then he's gonna turn that into the triple verse dragon Pisty effect to summon back, target safer, chain nib. Okay, so he will get the summon of regained. Never mind, there's no bestial in graveyard. I'm tweaking, literally tweaking. Uh, he's gonna send a set anti spell end phase. Go grab Druis and then pass draw ash. Uh, activate anti spell probably in draw phase. Normal summon the fiendish rhino. A link two into Muckraker and then Fiendish Rhino effect to set from deck or to dump. Actually, uh, I skipped this step, bro. I skipped this step. I actually just mills a fiend. Uh, if this card's in the graveyard, you can send a fiend from deck to grave. So he's going to go ahead and send Shyama there because uh, he does have both traps in hand. Like, there's no point setting both traps. So he's going to use the uh, Yama effect to destroy and then summon. And then this can out the anti spell if he wants to. Uh, then a chamber effect to summon from deck here is going to go ahead and summon Sarama. Okay. So says that that's good. No problem. He's going to use Shyama's effect. So target a monster you control and then non-target destroy a spell trap. So he's going to destroy the anti spell and then Sarama effect on a new chain is going to summon from deck Sharvara. Anything here says that that's good. No problem. He's going to make DDD. And then he's going to go Muckraker effect, discard Ash, summon back Sarama. Uh, set one, Sarama effect is going to reset the chamber, destroying the escape, escape effect to summon. Okay, this is, this is played pretty clean so far. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he's going to link those two into Muckraker, chain link one, chain link two. So set a trap and then add an unchained card. Chain link three is going to be Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. Um, he's going to negate, destroy that with the DDD though. Wait, does it negate activation? Um, yeah, it does negate the activation. So he's going to go ahead and add a Ruha set escape off of that. And then from here, thinking he was about to link those off, but he says sec think he's going to go with a Ruha destroy chamber already use the chamber this turn. He's going to make ang uh, anguish. Yeah. Anguish. Yep. And then anguish link with the token and that's going to go into abomination it says uh sorry think on anguish uh so think on anguish effect he's going to chain the druus worm to try to banish the shayama so banish shayama summon out abomination special druus and then regained effect put back yama draw one draw into another anti spell and then activate thrust to grab talents okay and then Talons draw two. Okay, so draw Tour Guide, Prosperity, Battle Phase, Attack, Effect of Abomination to destroy. And then Druus will be target a bomb and then attack directly with Muckcracker. And then main phase two, just pass turn there. Draw into Magma. Okay, so he has a rocket in graveyard. Has one negate with the DDD. Uh, reborn, reborn the tracer, special summon out white by banishing black, turn those two into savage, savage effect to equip. Okay, that's gonna equip the triple burst there, and then he's gonna go magma effect target. He's gonna chain the DDD to negate that, and then he's gonna get Sharvara effect to set from deck. That's gonna set chamber, and then normal summon safer, use the effect of safer to go ahead and add a tracer there. And then banish safer to add back Lubelion. Lubelion effect. Search for a bestial. It's gonna be Seronier. Already used the magma. 
Um, he's going to go Saronir, target Abomination. And then battle phase, try to beat over Muckraker, beat over the DDD. Does have two negates, three negates. And then he's going to tribute off Saronir for Abyss Duel Rebellion. It's going to be no effect of Saronir. Just place Branded Beast, set anti-spell, end phase. Branded Beast. Branded Beast to replace, regain face up in the spell trap zone, draw Aruha. Flip anti-spell, and then it's going to go Chamber Effect Summon. So summon back Anguish there. And then he says Thinking here. He's going to go Regain, Target Magma, Summon it. Magma Effect to search during end phase. And then he's going to try to link with the Savage there. Then he's going to Chain Branded Beast, Tributing Magma, Target the Anguish. He's going to Chain the Escape to Target Anguish and Borlin. To pop and then Borland negate doesn't destroy, which is really nice. But he is going to get anguish effect because it was destroyed, and that's going to allow him to add back Sharvara. And then he's going to normal summon tour guide, use the effect to summon maybe he already went through fiendish, maybe Rakia from deck potentially. Um, no, just another tour guide, okay. And then he's going to overlay those two. Oh, into the DDD Stone King Darius. Okay, uh, then target one dark country control, destroy it, and if you do draw one, okay, so you could just get a draw. It's gonna go up into the Maki next, battle phase, attack Bistula Bellion, and then just make big Zeus, big daddy Zeus effects, wipe the board. Yeah, Zeus is pretty good. Then activate prosperity, just for three right there. So, Nib, Druiz, Prison, pretty crazy. It's looking pretty good for Unchained here. Yeah, and then we see actually Bamal Brooks end up admitting defeat there. Very well played by Nesh, I think so. Like that was that was definitely clean. Definitely two very good players. Uh Bamal Brooks, obviously YCS champion, and Nesh, you know, just the absolute goat of DB. So just a really solid game right there. Definitely, like I said, two good players. So if you guys enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like. Greatly appreciate it. Greatly helps out the channel. Go check out Nesh on YouTube. And that's going to do it for this one. I'm out. Peace.